With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is assuming the bond directions of the air axis, which of the overlapping of atomic orbitals of at two atoms A and B will result in bonding? Okay. The first is that the s orbital of A and the px orbital of B. Now the sigma bonds are formed. The sigma bonds or the bonding takes place along the molecular axis. Okay. So if we consider the first case, we have s orbital. Now s orbital is um s orbital is in all directions right it does not depend on the x y and z axis it is spherical in shape it is uh, it is in all directions right now if we talk about the, suppose we are considering the z axis right we are considering the z molecular axis so the px orbital will be something like this right this will be the px orbital now and this is the s orbital so the overlap is going to not is not going to happen here this is going to be unsymmetrical overlapping right this is going to be unsymmetrical overlapping. So, unsymmetrical overlapping means no bond formation is going to take place. Right. Now, let us talk about the second one. Second one is S orbital of A. So, we have S orbital of A and the PZ orbital of B. So, we are considering the Z as the nuclear axis. And now, you have the PZ orbital. Right. This is going to be the PZ orbital. So, now a head-on overlap can take place. Right, the overlap will take place something like this will be the s orbital and this will be the p orbital, right? And this is the z internuclear axis, so the overlap is going to take place. It means that the bond formation will take place, right? Because this is symmetrical and a sigma bond formation will take place here, right? Now, let us consider the third one. The third one is the py orbital of a and the pz orbital of b. So, z is your internuclear axis right you have to consider the py orbital of a supposedly this is the py orbital right because py pz and px in the xyz plane they are perpendicular to each other right and this is going to be the pz okay are they going to overlap no this is going to be unsymmetrical overlap and again no bond formation is going to take place right now let us consider the fourth case the fourth case says that the s orbital of both a and b so this is the z nuclear axis and s orbitals of both the atoms can combine and lead to the overlapping in the formation of sigma bond right so the bond formation can take place here so the s s overlap and the s pz overlap are the only cases that can happen here right so the correct answer is second and fourth okay so, in the second case, bond formation took place between the Z and the S orbital. And in the last case, where both the S orbitals were combining. So, the correct answer for this question is going to be option 4. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.